Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here, and today is part... Oh no, it's became that time where I've forgotten. And yes, today we're going to Catacombs Chapter 3, and today I'm with Rabbit Wombat JR and Ratchet 5. Yes. Hey. Hello. Good evening. Oh god, not more of this yeah. fail. Yes, we're, we're back with the, um, I don't know what I want to call it, uh... The... Yeah, another, another great ep. No, no, part. <laughs> ep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, another stay, great ep. Stay crispy. <laughs> yes, yes. It's gonna be a great ep. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Okay. Bacon Gamer, don't worry. We, we, and we love you. And black background of, like, random metal platforms and nothing. Yeah, it's very... Like, it's very what's holding the thing up? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. oh fuck. What was that? Fuck it. I see what this reminds you of. For some reason, it reminds you of the giant slide in Crystal Island from Star Three. I don't know why. I can see why. It's a very similar oh, yeah. color of, um, like you know, Crystal Island is like very dark, but then yeah, at the yeah. same time you've got like a, um, what do you want to call it? Like like really fluoro crazy colors, and this is very much yeah. like that as well. You've got like mm -hmm. a dark color, yeah. and then you've got you know really nice um, sort of fluoro blue. It's very fashionable. Yes. Oh. Nice. Yeah, very fashion. Yeah, no, I, I agree, yeah. So, um, would you say that this one's harder than the last one? Um, already, yes, because... Oh, no, 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 oh, no, no, no. Shit, okay, I'm actually winging this right now. This is really difficult. Look at, like, you can't really properly see it, but I'm speeding. Yeah, right it's now. like Holy... Tony Channel only goes for, like, a frame a second. This, this is probably the most shit. original. Oh, see, look. Probably the most... What the hell? Oh, shit. Oh, what the yeah. fuck? I was, I was about to say, this, this is probably the most original thing in the game, unless it's probably ripped off from somewhere, but, like, as far as, like, 3D platformers from the late 90s, uh, this is probably the most original thing Yeah, I'd agree game. with that. I'd agree with that. I think it's yeah. very, um... I mean, uh, however, they really chose to spike the difficulty at this point, um, and, it's, uh, and that's what I like to call artificial difficulty, where they just yeah. simply don't put in a checkpoint to make it as hard as possible. At you and then... Yeah. 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 So it is creative, but at the same time, it's really annoying because these things, these reverse you. Like, I'm, see, look, that's why I died there because it reverses the way you go. What a joke. Oh, I'm sorry. okay. That's so left stupid. is right and right is left. Yeah, that's really annoying. I'm sorry, I don't play yeah. Call of Duty. I don't do inverted controls, so. Um, yeah. Even though I promised I can't my partnership for you. Like, the closest I've ever gotten to playing inverted controls was a friggin' jetpack in Crash 2. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good point. Yeah. Good point. Well, actually, well, that sort of worked. Yeah, it did. Even is, is, that, is, that right, is that right and left inversion, or just up and down? Uh, no, up and down inversion. Oh, well, dude, that's not as bad. And, that, and I think you can, like, pause and, like, change it in the options as well, so... There you go, a Crash 2 fact. That go. I'm not, like, sure of. And I have an ad about the world's tallest giraffe. The fuck is this? Hell yeah. Um, I was gonna say, um, the one game that I actually do remember doing Oh, for, what the hell was that? I'm sorry, what, what? the hell was that? I <laughs> yeah. just felt... Okay. Yeah. Um, the one game that I um, learnt to do inverted control, like there was an option to say don't do inverted, but in a game like Infamous, which is, uh, you know, Infamous uh, Infamous 2 and Infamous 1, um, I used inverted controls, uh, got us the default, and it turns out that it was, it was good. Like, I, I can see why people want to use it for certain things like that, but... I still prefer, um, you know, well, at least in a platformer, you know what I mean? Like, you don't want to be jumping and then yep. going the yeah. wrong way. It's just impractical. Like, yep. this is really So, so do difficult. you eventually get used to these inverted controls? Kind of. See, look, I just, now you just did it inverted again and I nearly screwed yeah. myself up. So, no, I'm not, I'm like, not I guess you it. really couldn't get used to it here because it happened so fast. Like, yeah, you don't know when it runs out here. One of them, it happens in... Yeah, I Does it even run out? It, it just runs out, like, after, like... A bit, like a real A real random bit. amount of time. It's Shit. like the spinning in Crash 1, you just spin a bunch of times. Oh, is he gonna do it? Whoa. Damn, this looks very difficult. Oh, he's going up. He's going uh -oh. up again. Whoa. Oh, there no. you go. Oh my god. This <laughs> so is if you run over them again. No, no, no. Oh, that was the end. Oh. No. Oh, damn. Oh, we were on a roll there, so. Yeah. Seriously, Funk was on a roll. Like, seriously, that is actually really yeah, difficult. Funk. Bloody hell. Yeah, look at this. I'm trying, you know I'm trying to think of other games with artificial difficulty. Um, Banjo Kazooie on the um, GBA. Um, I would say uh, any game where it's just an excessive collector film. For example, Donkey Kong 64. 
is one of those games where like I heard and I've like you know played as well. There's just there's like it's good when you got like something like Spyro. There's a lot of collectibles and shit, but like this takes it like 20 steps like worse. You know what I mean? Like there's like there's like firstly you have to do th this, then you have to do that, then you have to go back and do this when you've unlocked that. Then you, it's like it's like literally like seven yeah. things to collect. It's like give me a break. Yeah. The levels yeah, are Yeah, there's like enough. the green bananas, yeah. the blue bananas, the postage stamps, you know, uh, pieces of dog shit, you know, <laughs> <laughs> talismans, um, <laughs> orbs exactly. and body pieces, grenade orbs from Treasure Planet. Yeah, no, I know Banjo Kazooie like has that problem as well. Like it kind of, it kind of, kind of to be honest, turned me off Banjo Kazooie, even though I know it's a pretty damn good game. But yeah, Banjo Kazooie has the same problem. It just has like a, a, sh a shit ton of record. I mean, to collect, sorry. Oh crap. That yeah, wasn't the end. Wasn't even end. Oh, no. what the? Yeah. Shit, okay, this is a really, oh. really fast paced game. No, no. Oh, shit, I'm in reverse mode. Crap, this is going I'm super just fast. On. I cannot Whoa. see what it's going Yeah, I it's going way too fast for me. Like, oh, I can't. Like, crap. Like, I did it. skipping through room. What the hell happened there? Did you see that? I'm sorry, I'm gonna commend myself there. And if any child, please contact me at Crystal Fisher YouTube channel. Obviously you're here right now. If you did that without dying, I'm sending you a fucking free steak, okay? Because that was an excellent, that's bloody difficult. I can Crap. All right, well, um. Isn't steak knives? Okay, I'll send you a box of steak knives, yes. Anyway, I hope you everyone enjoyed that part, uh, my failings. Um, and yes, I'll see you in the next part in... I don't know if it's Catacombs Chapter 4, I'm not too sure. But yes, mm -hmm. goodbye. All right, Sam. Goodbye.